Welcome to our few moments together on the Pasha. This Shabbos we have the privilege of beginning the third of the five Chumashim, the third of the five books of Moshe. And it begins, of course, Chumash Vayikra, which the name of it is taken from the very first word of this week's Pasha, where it says, Vayikra el Moshe, and he called to Moshe. Hashem calls to Moshe to tell him about the rules of the karbanos, of that which some people translate as sacrifice, but that's not so because a karban doesn't mean you have to sacrifice anything. And some people call it an offering, but that's not so because you don't have to offer Hashem anything. He needs nothing. But rather, as Rav Shem Shemfer Hush explains, it means karban from the word karov, which means to come close. The way we come close to Hashem, a karban, is by bringing ourselves closer to Hashem. Now it's interesting that the first word, Vayikra, is spelled, as it always is spelled, Vav, Yud, Kuf, Resh, Aleph, but the Aleph is a very, very small Aleph, as is pointed out by the Baal Haturim. One of the reasons that they give for the Aleph being small is because Moshe Rabbeinu was humble. He was an Anav. And he didn't want it said about him that God called to me as if I'm so important. He wanted to write the word Vayikar, and it happened. It chanced upon him. Not as if he had a relationship, but just God came to him one day suddenly. No different than later on in the Torah, where it says that Hashem appeared to Bilam, Vayikar el Bilam. And Moshe Rabbeinu said, to himself. I'm not a great person. I shouldn't be any different than Bilam, who it says, Vayikar, and he wanted to write Vayikar. So Hashem said to him, no, no. Vayikra is what you're going to write, with an Aleph at the end. Moshe Rabbeinu had to obey Hashem, but he made it small so that it shouldn't be so obvious, and therefore it would maintain his emotional and spiritual integrity of being humble and not seeking to be said about him that God called to him as if he was that important. Now, there are many, many reasons and commentaries on this particular idea of the writing of the small Aleph. The Fianias Dati, according to my humble opinion, I'd like to add, perhaps, I'm sure it's been said by others, but I'd like to add my own humble opinion. You know, bringing the Karbanos Bringing a carbon, coming close to God is not easy. It's a difficult job to get close to the source of the spiritual and physical realities of this world, to the one who is our creator, who gives us our very life blood, who made us so perfect as human beings, who made us with so many complexities, and yet the world exists because of us, and we have to come close to God by offering ourselves close to him, to be closer. But perhaps what the Torah is telling us, in order to be close, in order to be karov, karban, step number one, you need a little humility. We need to recognize who we are. Why was Moshe so humble? Not because he looked down. Because if he looked down, he would see many, many beneath him but because he looked up. And because he looked up, he realized how insignificant he was and was humble. And that's why that little Aleph is so crucial. Because if we want to bring karbanos, if we want to be karov to Hashem, the number one requirement and the first step, the priority number one, the prerequisite number one, is humility. And that's what Moshe did at the beginning of Chumash Vayikra, which is the book of all the Karbanos. It's the book of coming closer to Hashem. And in order to do that, we first have to have humility. It's something that would stand us in good stead as we approach our lives from this point on, all the time, to recognize that Hashem is above us. We wear a yarmulke for that purpose. We have a mezuzah on the door. We do all these things to recognize 
the humility we have to have vis-a-vis HaKadosh Baruch Hu, our Creator, the Holy One, blessed be He. Good way to start the Chumash. Let's have a wonderful Shabbos, a Shabbos of great understanding of the need for our humility as we come closer to the ideal that Hashem has set forth for us. Shabbat Shalom, Umevodach.